Greetings from the Alabama Gulf Coast. Those damn Yankees in Indiana have snatched our title as the least tolerant state in the Union. By now, everybody knows that we are using our Alabama Supreme Court to ignore a federal ruling granting same-sex marriage. Right here in Mobile County, our probate judge doesn't know whether to shit or go blind. Should he wait for the U.S. Supremes in Washington to rule on gay marriage in June? Or should he obey our federal judge and issue marriage licenses to gays and lesbians? Our probate judge took the coward's way out. He closed the window that set issues marriage licenses and he locked himself in his office. Nobody can get a marriage license in Mobile County. Not even heterosexual couples. You just can't make up this shit. But now Indiana has outdone Alabama with their new law which permits businesses to deny service to customers on the grounds of religious freedom. It has nothing to do with religion. But it does allow a baker the right to refuse to make a wedding cake for two women who want to get married under Indiana's same-sex marriage law. It's legal in Indiana. I wonder what an Indiana Baptist would think if I walked into her florist shop and ordered a nosegay of white orchids. Do I appear transgendered, born a woman, but I've managed to grow all this hair on my face? Do I look like a bisexual or a homosexual? Does my ponytail suggest that I'm a queer? Or does all this hair mean that I'm a leftover hippie from the 60s? Totally straight, a heterosexual who likes to screw female groupies as they follow my rock band from city to city. How the hell can we tell who is what? Meanwhile, convicts in Alabama and our state prisons are busy retooling the license plate assembly lines. Our new state slogan is Thank God for Indiana. Here is to your health and may your final four bracket live long and prosper. <laughs>